Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles Sabanson, and welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show. We we'll cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment, and we'll give you guys a fresh perspective on things and how we see them. And today, we've got a pretty interesting show uh, in store for you guys. Before we get into it, please make sure you like the video and subscribe uh, to the channel. So, yesterday um, was a pretty interesting day because it was JJ Reddick's introductory press conference uh, with, the, with the Los Angeles Lakers alongside um, general manager Rob Palenka. And it was just something that I stumbled upon while I was surfing through the internet. I just saw it live, I think, on the Lakers channel. I think at one point there were 20,000 people watching that press conference uh, live, right? So I was catching bits and pieces of it here. Um, there was a point where they asked him about the, the Dan Hurley signing. And then Rob Palenka just said, this is not the time to be talking about that. This is JJ Reddick's moment. There were various points where they asked him about, um, you know, what qualifies him for this position. Uh, etc. And JJ Reddick responded to that. Um, Rob Palenka as well. He pushed back on some of the you know some of the things that they were saying. Um, and then it got to a particular point in the press conference where they asked JJ Reddick to kind of weigh in on what some of the naysayers are saying because what people are saying out there is essentially that JJ Reddick has no coaching experience whatsoever, not on a head coach level, assistant coach level, collegiate level, none whatsoever. And people who follow the Lakers, who are interested in the affairs of the Lakers, are asking the question, if you guys know that you're in a pretty um, uh, seminal moment um, in the franchise's history where you need to now make a decision after firing four head coaches in the last six years, are you sure that this is the candidate, the candidate that you want to go with? Uh, and a lot of people have been kind of questioning that. So uh, something interesting happened. Uh, they actually ended up asking J.J. Reddick to kind of weigh in on the naysayers and people saying that. And in a shocking turn of events, during his response, he ends up actually swearing, basically saying, I don't give up, you know what, about what these people are saying. So what we want to do now is want to play exactly uh, what J.J. Reddick had to say in response to his critics. And I want to come back and give you the reaction of some of what people in Laker Nation had to say uh, based on what he had to uh, based on his comments. Take a listen to that there. What misconceptions or concerns about you that you've heard in the last few weeks are you the most like looking forward to dispelling when you're the coach? Um, it's a valid question, and I've certainly heard everything. I don't really have a great answer for your uh, question because I, I really don't give a f like honestly. I want to coach the Lakers. I want to coach the team. I don't want to dispel anything. I don't. I want to become a great coach in the NBA, and I want to win championships, and I want my players to maximize their careers. This job was about the Lakers. This job was about the Lakers, and it was about LeBron James, Anthony Davis, two of the greatest players ever. Um, I've been able to do some incredible things in my life. I, I really have. I mean, I, Rob knows this. Like. Monday night, I called game five of the NBA Finals. Thursday, I'm in Cameron. One of my sons is playing at Duke camp in the practice facility. The other son is in Cameron Indoor Stadium. And I'm on the phone with Rob and Jeannie committing to this job in the Duke Hall of Fame room. I've gotten to do some amazing stuff in my life, right? This might be the best. So you heard what J.J. Reddick had to say. Now, I want to read a post that I saw uh, this morning from Yahoo Sports, their their uh, Instagram page. And they were playing this audio of where J.J. Reddick essentially said, I don't give a you know what. And I want to read some of the comments that people left on that post. Another per One person said, give it time, bro. You'll soon give a you know what soon. Uh, another person said, still came across as very unprofessional. Not a great way to speak to a lady. Um, another guy said, didn't have to F-bomb. Come on. Another person said, very uh, unprofessional. Another person said, bye. Another person said, haters. He's winning the chip uh, over the locker room. Relax. Another person said, WrestleMania Circus comes to, the w comes to the NBA. Another person said, unprofessional. Another person said, he won't make it. Um, uh, another person said, him answering like this is misleading because it sounds like he has heard everything said about him and knowing that he's not qualified and still got the job. He, uh, he's saying 
what you want, I'm still here. Another person said, unprofessional, egotistical response, already starting off bad. Another person said, oh, JJ, can't wait till you and the Joker start losing again. Uh, and then I think a few other people um, weighed in uh, and just basically expressed how they were not impressed uh, with the language uh, that he used. And another person said, he will, you will for sure. So we then decided to put up uh, a quick poll on our channel asking the audience, uh, asking our audience members what they thought. And the question we essentially asked the audience was the following. Laker fans, thoughts on J.J. Redick introductory press conference? Uh, we gave him three options. I'm sold on J.J. He was too arrogant, won't work. I'll wait and see how things go. Of the 600 voters thus far, 8% uh, said they're sold on J.J. Another 38% said he's too arrogant, won't work. Um, and another person said, I'll wait and see um, how things uh, go there. So, look. What I noticed from J.J. Redick in that press conference was that he was a bit defensive. And it's understandable because it's human nature, especially given the circumstances where a lot of people feel like you're not qualified to hold that position, given the fact that you have no experience whatsoever. So that is understandable. However, the Lakers head coaching job is a very unique one. And I think it's one that requires you to have very tough skin. And if you're already reacting that way, coming off as being defensive now, when things start to go bad, and they will because it happens with every team, various points in the season, if you're not able to keep your cool, those kind of comments will backfire in your face. It absolutely will. Now we're in the honeymoon phase where, oh, it's cute. It's the new guy. He's here, blah, 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 blah. But if the team is not doing well and you have this kind of defensive attitude towards the reporters, uh, it's not going to work in his favor. Go ask Russell Westbrook. When Russell Westbrook wasn't meshing well with the Lakers and he would get defensive with the, with the media, it wouldn't help his case. Do I think J.J. Redick will work with the Lakers? I don't even know. I don't even know. Because I don't know the type of coach he's going to be because he's never been a coach. So I don't know. But I can't say, well, based off of what he did here and there, I don't know. Um, there's also the aspect of the relationship that him and LeBron had. And if you listen to the full inter uh, press conference, uh, J.J. Redick said that he only spoke to LeBron about it, I think, recently. You know, and Rob Palenka said that LeBron gave his blessings, but he was he wanted to remain out of the situation entirely. He said the person that was involved with the coaching search search heavily was Anthony Davis. Anthony Davis was much more hands on with the coaching search. He said LeBron was pretty much hands off, right? He was pretty much hands off. Um, but this is what people feel. So the question to the audience watching this is the following. How do you think J.J. Redick did in his first um, press conference with the Los Angeles Lakers? What are your takeaways? And how do you think he would do moving forward? Whatever you guys think, leave your thoughts in the comments and we catch you guys on the next show. Peace.